Welcome to my end of the year top 10 list. This is the worst movies of 2016. I'm going to do the worst. Then my okay guilty pleasures list. And then we'll move on to the big one. And that is going to be a long one to talk about. But anyways, let's get right into it. <sighs> Number 8, The Witch. Okay, I gave this movie a rare box rental, but it was boring, and it was a little bit too long. It, it, the, run, the screen time had 93 minute long run time. It was long. I don't know why. Huh. <laughs> but I don't... I am okay. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm not saying it's terrible, but it is a freaking colossal mess. It is a colossal failure, man. But overall, uh, um, this, this, this is an alright thing. I'm not saying it's terrible or anything, but anyway. Number seven, Ben Hur, a movie that desperately did not need a remake, desperately, and this is an example of an unnecessary remake. I just don't understand. Now, this is this is dumb. The original was a classic, but the remake wasn't all that good. But at the end of the day, it's alright. You got excuse my excuse the noise. That's my dog in the background. Number six, Alice through the freaking looking glass. Disney. Disney. This movie was stupid, unnecessary, dull, and pointless. This was, this is not a very good ass movie. This is freaking retarded. Disney, you really need some help right now. Only thing that's ever good in this movie is Anne Hathaway, Mia Wachowska, Sasha Baron Cohen. And Alan Rickman in his final movie appearance. And Johnny Depp. But that doesn't help. Because this movie still sucked. And I will never watch this movie again. Number five. The Forest. Shit. This movie has the nerve. To, I do not know why. This movie... It's dumb, stupid, overly long, and I was just sitting there halfway bored throughout the whole freaking movie. This film is just, and you even have the nerve to put ads from Game of Thrones here, which that doesn't help because this movie is still a waste of my time too. And there's, and it's not even scary. Number four, my fourth. We're down to the last four worst films of 2016. My fourth worst movie of 2016 is Meet the Blacks. Yeah, I saw this movie. I didn't like it. Mike Epps was trying, but Mike Epps was also trying way too hard, freaking hard in this movie to be funny. I'm so sick and tired of them parodying in movies I like, parodying The Purge. You don't make fun of the purge. That is a very dark, scary movie. I just hate. I hate. The, I hate Meet the Blacks. Do not watch it for the love of goodness. Do not watch Meet the Blacks. People, do not. Do not. Look. Oh, see. Want to see something cool? Okay. Watch this. 
Now I'm gonna wait till I get to my number one. Number three, Ghost Busters or Fem Busters or Crap Bust. This ain't Ghost. If you if something strange in the neighborhood, who you gonna call? Not these people. <laughs> Not these people. You, Sony. First, you mess with Spider Man with the Amazing Spider Man 1 and 2. Now, what? So, what you do now after your Amazing Spider Man series got canceled, you, re, you had the nerve to reboot Ghostbusters. One of the classic films from the 1980s with Bill Murray and Sigourney Weaver and Dan Aykroyd and Rick. Moranis and um and uh Ernie Hudson and Harold Ramis may he re may he rest in peace. What I don't understand is this movie has a, has a seventy three percent and and while while underrated superhero movies like Suicide Squad and Batman vs Superman gets very low scores on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know. This is the third. Only things I liked in this movie was the cameos by Bill Murray, but that doesn't help because he gets killed in his own movie. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson. I did like Kate McKinnon in here. I liked Melissa McCarthy in here. She was alright. And I liked Chris Hemsworth in here. Yes, Thor is in this movie, but that doesn't help because this movie feels this movie feels way too much. This movie feels way too much like the original Ghostbusters movie. And you ruined the Ghostbusters with this movie. And and now since this movie this movie was a box office disappointment. And now Sony still wants to do a freaking sequel to it. No. No. No sequel. Please. And this... You do not deserve to have... Have a free... And in last month, the director said that a sequel will not be made. Yes! Yes! Do not make no more Ghostbusters movies with these guys. <sighs> And number two, number two is one of the dumbest, unfunny movies I've seen this year. Ride Along 2. This came out in February, uh, January, and I still remember how much crap, crappy of a, of a crappy comedy this movie was. Ride Along 2 was stupid as all heck. The only things I liked was Ice Cube, Olivia Munn from X Men Apocalypse, Benjamin Bratt and Ken Jeong, but and Tyrese. Tyrese, why are you in this movie, man? <laughs> I watched you as Jody, and I liked you in, in The Fast and Furious, and you're coming back for Transformers Five next year, so I, that's something I got to look forward to. But this movie is just. A chore, a chore to get through. I swear, it, this movie is a chore. is a chore to get through. I have not seen a movie this lifeless and this boring. This movie was not funny. Kevin Hart tried. Kevin Hart, I like him, but there are movies where he can be funny, and there are movies where he's not funny. This and Think Like a Man One and Two are one of, but are, are examples. Because I don't like Think Like a Man Two. I'm sorry. And that and Universal is green light and another sequel. Hopefully this is the last sequel. <laughs> okay. Now for my number one most hated worst movie of 2016. This is the movie that I saw that I clearly saw during the summer. I know it came out in spring, but I saw this during the summertime. And it is a movie based on the classic fairy tale, The Huntsman Winter's War. This movie was a pain in the neck. So, guys, you mean to tell me 
This movie is better than The Little Mermaid. It's better than Beauty and the Beast. It's better than Into the Woods. It's better than Trolls. It's better than Secret Life of Pets. It's better than Captain America Civil War. I do not freaking think so. I forget the Huntsman Winter's War and all of this bull crap. Okay? This movie is freaking bull crap. <sighs> Universal. I'm gonna give you the slight edge. Because you, last year you gave me you gave me Pitch Perfect 2. You gave me Fast and Furious 7 and you brought Jurassic Park back with Jurassic World. I'll give you credit for that. But you green lighted a sequel and a prequel to a movie from 2012 that I did not like. I didn't like Snow White and the Huntsman. What makes you think I was going to like this one? There are good things I like in it. Chris Hemsworth, Tr Emily Blunt as the Ice Queen. She was called cool as the Ice Queen. She kind of reminded me of Elsa from Frozen. Jessica Chastain. I like Liam Neeson as a narrator. And it's a good I can see why Kristen Stewart turned this movie down. She didn't want to do she didn't want to do this movie. You're welcome, Kristen Stewart. You well you I, 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 I plus for you. But all the things I like, including the music and action, does not save for how boring this movie is. How uninteresting this movie was, and better yet, how unnecessary this movie is. This is this is a true example of an unnecessary bogger flipping sequel. Just like Ride Along 2. Just like Thing Like a Man 2. It was unnecessary. I'm sorry. If y'all like those movies, that's fine. If you like Huntsman Winter's War, it is alright. But I do not give a crap about this movie anymore. Universal, do not... D Universal. Universal. Do not... Don't make no more Snow White and the Huntsman. Do not make no more Snow White and the Huntsman. <laughs> I can't take it. I'll wait for the live action Disney version. Hopefully, because Disney knows how to handle Snow White better than you. If you haven't seen The Huntsman Winter's War, stay away from it. Do not buy it on Blu ray. Do not buy it from Redbox. Do not watch it on, on demand. Do not watch it on HBO. Do not watch it on Netflix. Do not watch it. You want to see something? Okay. Do not watch the Huntsman Winter's War. Do not watch Huntsman Winter's War. <clears throat> I ain't got I ain't I ain't got down on my knees for the worst movie list, but I'm doing it for this. Alright. So that was my worst movies of 2016. Let me know what you guys what are some of your worst movies of 2016 and stay tuned for my okay movies of 2016 and the guilty pleasure list. Bye.